Welcome back to the show, back to talk about a very serious topic and something that we all should be thinking about because it's probably more common than you think, and that is bladder cancer. Uh, Snooki Lomo is the Volunteer Bladder Cancer Support Group Coordinator and uh, Ottawa Walk Lead since 2012. Welcome, right. Snooki. Great to have so you here. Thank you so much for having me. I can't tell you how much I appreciate being on TV to share our, our uh, story and our concern about bladder cancer. It's uh, the fifth most common cancer and uh, the... I would say the most expensive to treat. It's really? uh, 20th on the list of cancer organizations that receive funding. We're almost at the bottom of the list. Why is it the most expensive? I think it's because expensive? it's not well known, it's not sexy like prostate or breast cancer. It doesn't have the same appeal maybe, but yeah, we, we, we lack in the getting the financial support to be able to do the serious research and uh, that we need in order to find a cure and right. find better drugs to treat it. But um, it's uh, there's certain things that patients should look for or, or people should look for if they are, have a concern. And that is our message is if you see red in your urine, you should see a doctor. So right. it's, the, it's one of the so signs. Is, so that's one sign and yeah. symptom. What, what are some of the other signs and symptoms? Um, some of the others would be um, frequency. Okay. Your infrequency, um, discomfort in your bladder, pain, burning, all that sort of stuff. Um, yeah. And they, th the way they diagnose bladder cancer is they have to do what's called a cystoscopy. Mm. So they go in with a camera and they look in your bladder to see exactly. I've been there. Oh, okay. It's not fun. Okay. I had a, I had a bladder um, stone. Oh, so no. So instead of a kidney stone the size of a golf ball. Oh, that must have hurt, Benny. It uh, wasn't pretty. It wasn't pretty. <laughs> you, did, you did bring along some visuals here. I did. I, I Nothing like I just described. Don't worry. <laughs> These are family-friendly visuals. What are we looking at here? So this is actually a picture of your two kidneys okay. and where the bladder sits in your body and how it's connected with the uh, uterus. Okay. So what happens is when you do get bladder cancer and the kidney, uh, the bladder <laughs> gets affected, they have to do various things in order to treat it. Okay. So the first thing that, um, I'll Want just to go, go to the, the next, next one. one. Yeah. yeah, sure. So the first thing happens is when the bladder uh, gets diseased, that usually the uh, non-invasive cancer, bladder cancer, is quite easy to treat. And they use uh, drugs that go in with um, an insertion with through your catheter. Okay. And they treat it. And they use a lot of BCG, which is a drug that was used for um, uh, various other conditions. But the interesting part is that if it does become in invasive and it gets into your the lining of your bladder mm -hmm. or the wall of the bladder, then they have to remove the bladder in order to, really? to save your life. Okay. And so what happens is, we'll go to the next okay. one. No, you missed. You got the wrong one. Oh, yeah? <laughs> okay. Nope, one more. <laughs> Okay, Don't worry, good. we'll get there. Here okay. it is, folks. So this is a picture of your intestine. So we have a large intestine and a small intestine. Right. So um, the large intestine actually um, is, is where, you know, you have your digestive system and right. the small intestine is quite long. And so what they're able to do is they're able to cut a portion of your small intestine to create a bladder. Uh, and it's called a neobladder. Really? And yes. Okay. And um, it takes about nine hours, the surgery. But uh, I have patients within the bladder cancer group that have had the neo for 12, 15 years. Okay. So the, Which the one other. Do you want me to go to no, next? the other one is what's called a iliac conduit. And that's a, where they put a bag on the outside of your body and right. um, you dispense. Much like a, a colostomy. Exactly. Right? Yeah. And they just dispense your urine through a bag. Right. And so uh, those are the two most common ways in which the bladder is replaced. Um, you mentioned, you know, uh, lack of research, lack of funding. So, you know, for um, for Bladder Cancer Canada, do, do they get any any funding outside of private donations? Well, they well they get grants. Of they course. do. Yeah, okay. yeah. But right. um, the the majority of their funding comes from the walk. Actually. Right. Well, let's talk about that because okay. the walk is coming up here exactly. in Ottawa on Sunday. We're doing it this Sunday. This will be our 11th, uh, no, sorry, our 12th year here in Ottawa to do the walk. But um, the two gentlemen in, in Toronto, a fellow by the name David Gutman and Jack Moon, started Bladder Cancer Canada back in 2009 because there was nothing for bladder cancer patients. Right. No support, no information. And so what these gentlemen have done is quite remarkable. They've built a whole network right across Canada now. We have support groups right across Canada. We have one here in Ottawa that I run. And um, it's um, essential to helping people get through the process of uh, dealing with bladder cancer. Uh, registration happens at the Fairmont there, Chateau Laurier, yes, right? we are starting, but we, we've been going there for the last uh, 11, 12 years okay. as well. But they, 
what they very kindly donate to us the room to facilitate the registration and the we register between 9 and 10 on Sunday morning okay. and then we do the walk from 10 to about 11:30 we meet at the end of the walk at the Ottawa sign in the market take oh, a nice. photo and Excellent. then come back but the beauty of it is I get the docs from the Ottawa General Hospital to come and talk at the end of the walk and bring us up to date on the latest information on treatments that are being uh, I've become available now for bladder cancer. Right. Are so, there a lot of treatments available now? Yes, there are. Yeah. There's a lot of there's immunotherapy, they're doing, there's a lot of new innovative things that they're using to treat bladder cancer. It is one of the better cancers that are receptive to immunology, okay. and immunotherapy I should say. So there's not all cancers are receptive to that one, but bladder cancer is. But um, what I am um, excited about, I guess, is that um, with the support group that we have here in Ottawa we we are very effective in helping patients get through the process because when you get to the process where you have to decide on what type of bladder you want be it the ileus right. conduit or right. the neo bladder it I have what's called a, an ambassador program where I hook patients up with uh, patients that are going have had gone through okay. the similar process right. so they have somebody they can talk to somebody they can get good information valuable information about their experience and what they um, ex can expect to go through and it's become very effective and very helpful so okay, just uh, got 30 seconds left yeah. um, can you register online as well or yes. is it just on location Please go to bcc walk.ca okay. and look uh, follow where is the find a walk find Ottawa and then you can register for the Ottawa Walk. You can join the Bladder Cancer Support Group um, and become part of the Ottawa Support Group team or you can set up your own team. Fantastic. Snooki, thanks so much for oh, this. Thank really you for appreciate having it. Us. Really appreciate no, it. No, it's an absolute um, pleasure. Come on down and join us for the walk. You heard the lady. Come on down <laughs> and join them for a walk again. The Canada Walks for Bladder Cancer in Ottawa, Sunday, September the 24th. Registration at 9 a.m. The walk begins at 10. We'll be right back after this.